How's it going, everyone? Welcome to another edition of the Ravens Nest. Uh, tonight, I'm looking into Trevor Lawrence's performance against the Cowboys. Mm -hmm. I've been hearing, you know, Lawrence wasn't looking great. Jaguars offense is stagnant. I mean, no one's really showing anything in the preseason. So I decided to take a look in this performance against the Cowboys. He ended up with 11 for 12, two touchdowns, and I don't know how much yards, but he looked really good. I think this offense is going to be very – very efficient. I don't, I'm not going to say they're going to win a ton of games just because I don't think they're that good, but they could finish second in the division. I mean, Colts, solid, solid team. Uh, Tennessee's obviously the favorite. Houston's probably the worst team in the league. So they've, they've got the, they've got the quarterback figured out and that's, that gives you a lot of uh, potential here. Uh, before we dive in, if you could please subscribe to the channel and be breaking down all types of players, all types of, positions footage throughout the season so if that's something you're interested in uh, hit that subscribe button let's get into it this is an excellent throw by lawrence here dallas is rolling their coverage they're bringing the safety down uh, this slot blitz they're rushing five so that means they're getting one-on-one -on, -one on the outside essentially a single high defense they're dropping the safety down to play in the hook to curl uh, area over here Lawrence sees that he's seen it a thousand times in college. This is a really, I mean, this is a very simple blitz. So he knows what to do. He's very poised in the pocket play action. Doesn't really waste any motion, puts the ball absolutely perfectly right where it needs to be. We got third and four. They're uh, trusting Trevor Lawrence to let him throw the ball. This is not even, this is a very uh, risky play. It's man coverage. He's running with them. I wouldn't say risky play, but it's not a quick hitter. I should say. So you see 40's running with uh, Farrah Cooper here. Uh, it's man coverage, ends up being a double move. Can't really see it here. He, he stops, he's faking, head faking right there. Lawrence is pumping, getting him to come up and then uh, it's just a wide open touchdown. Not the best throw, excellent catch by Cooper though. In my opinion, this is gonna be something they're gonna do all season long just to keep defenses honest. Their offensive line's not great. So they're gonna wanna move them. Easy throw right here, just get uh, mismatches. I mean, that's that's an easy five yards. It's essentially a run play. All right, here we're gonna see his uh, the pocket move again here. He's uh, he's tall enough, he can see down the field while he's doing this. He's athletic enough. He gets his hip square, it's a nice throw here. Naked on the edge here, look how much room. This defense, like if he wants to take this and run with it, he could. But 97, he's not really threatening them. He's pressing up the field. He gets his hips turned. Nice throw. Uh, it's a first down. This play, we're getting that three roll coverage again. They're sending this slot. He, the safety's coming down. Lawrence does a nice job staying in the pocket here. He trusts his receiver is going to be open. He just delivers a strike. Gets hit on the play. Look and see. He's poised. He steps up. Just rock it right in there. Defender didn't stand a chance. Here we got this bunch formation. You can see they have numbers, this inside linebackers inside of this edge defender's hip right here. So we got two blockers and then he's just accounting for a guy to make a miss. This is, this is such a high school play. It's the easiest read. This tackle blocks down. This guy comes down with him. You just throw it right behind him where he's supposed to be. It's easy pitch and catch, let your playmakers make plays. That's what they're going to have to do. This is a very, uh, Quarterback friendly offense, LaVisca Chenault here should be a, a game breaker here for the Jaguars. So I, th I think Urban Meyer is going to want to do a lot of stuff like this because it's just easy on the quarterback. The defenders have to defend the entire field and it's, it's the only chance they got being successful, in my opinion. Here we got second and goal. It's a man coverage. Uh, you can see the three are manned up here. Everyone's man for a man here. Trevor Lawrence does a nice job uh, throwing this guy open a little bit. He uh, he throw he makes the defender or the receiver flatten off his route, so it it's just gives him more room to work with. You can see see he flattened it out. He didn't put it back in the pylon. Uh, he I mean Leviska Chanel touchdown right there. It's just the little things are what makes Trevor Lawrence Trevor Lawrence. He's clearly uh, the most talented quarterback that's come out in a long time. I. I mean, Jacksonville has been a, a death trap for quarterbacks, but I, this has been the guy since he's been like a junior in high school. I remember seeing him, I think it's 
it's in Georgia. I forget. I think it's like Cartersville or something, Georgia. He was like 50 and all or whatever. Only lost a couple of games at Clemson. Like they were in the champ national championship game. So he's just a game breaker. He's got everything. He's got height, speed, intelligence. His players like him. You know, some, maybe some criticism. He's not like a vocal guy, but that's, I mean, you can't, you can't fake it. You got to be yourself. People are going to want to play with him because he's talented. They know he can uh, be the guy to lead the Jags to the promised land. I think you got a shot. They got some playmakers. A lot of it's going to depend on how their defense performs and how Urban Meyer, you know, interacts with his players. A lot of these guys are younger, so they're kind of used to the college, you know, thing. So maybe they get a ton of draft picks and just bring in some young guys. So they, it's not like you're changing you know, it's not like it's a 15 year vet who's been in the league. It's like, you're not going to tell him what to do. He knows how to play. He knows how to practice. He's going to be what he's going to be. So that's all my spiel on that. Uh, if you like the video, uh, please like, leave me a comment. Let me know what your expectations are for Trevor Lawrence this season uh, and subscribe to the channel. With that being said, have a great night, everyone.